Hi, my name is Mark Godaker and I'm sitting at Trinity College, Oxford, which was the home of Austin Farrer, who wrote his inspirational article 1955 called On Dispensing with Q. And the premise of that article is basically that you don't need to postulate a hypothetical document like Q if you can show that it's plausible that Luke had direct access to Matthew's gospel. And one of the points that he makes in that article, which I think is kind of brilliant, is that Q doesn't really look like other documents that you find in antiquity. It looks like what I think it is. It looks like a source critically extracted mongrel, dare I say mongrel? It looks like a source critically extracted mongrel from Luke's gospel, where you've just pulled out all the bits where Luke agrees with Matthew, where it's not in Mark. And you've laid that out on the page and you look at it and you say, that doesn't look like any document I've ever seen. And now some people will say, and this post dates Austin Ferris, some people will say, and they often say to me, well, what about the Gospel of Thomas? Isn't that a saying's gospel? Isn't that like you? No, Thomas is nothing like you. Have a look at Thomas, look at it alongside you. He's got these, these, these discourses where Jesus develops his thought at some length. And it also has this very strong narrative introduction. It's more than an introduction. Austin Farrer calls it an exordium, a narrative exordium, full of progress and parallels to Exodus, you know, with Jesus in the desert and Jesus on the mountain. And Farrer said, that doesn't look like a document that I've seen before. And yes, you do have sayings, gospels, saying sources, different kinds of saying pieces in antiquity, but not ones that look like you, not ones that look like their source critically extracted pieces from narrative gospels. Q is actually surprisingly obvious once you actually realize what it is, which is the bits of Matthew that Luke has pulled out to put in his revised version of Mark, because Luke, I think, did use Mark's gospel and made Mark's gospel the whole framework, the spine of his gospel. But then what he did is he pulled material from Matthew to supplement and to develop. And Luke had a lot of material of his own as well, which we call this sort of special material. And he integrates the new and Matthean material really cleverly into context where he's also going to be using that L material. So dispensing with Q seems to me the best option if you want a tidy and persuasive solution to the synoptic problem.